I thought you'd enjoy this presentation a little bit more if I could provide you with um, a video or a visual perspective of what this program is like. So I went through uh, my files and checked um, my pictures and videos and put together this, uh, this presentation for you. I think you'd enjoy it. I kept it a little bit short, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Nantes not a bad place. It's the sixth largest city in France and it's not too far from the Atlantic Ocean. So what can you expect to see when you're there? Well on your first day Audencia will send you on a tour and you'll visit a cathedral and another cathedral and you're gonna visit a lot of cathedrals on that tour and you might even see some cathedrals at night. After the cathedral tour you should check out the castle that was constructed for the Duke of Brittany. It's a pretty big place and it even comes with its own drawbridge and a moat that surrounds it. Although Nantes doesn't have the notoriety that Paris does, it does have some amazing architecture and some very impressive buildings and some more cathedrals. The culture differences were very interesting. For example, in Europe it seems like you can't be homeless unless you have a dog. See? Homeless. Dog. The Brussels trip is three days and is spent touring the headquarters of the European Union. It's where all the heads of state from all the member countries gather together to deliberate the future of the European Union. Beyond the academics, France has some beautiful beaches and it has Paris. Yes, you can check out the Cathedral of Notre Dame, you can see the Eiffel Tower, and also the Louvre. The Louvre is always jam-packed, but it's most definitely worth the wait. There is some incredible art there, and some are just uh, simply impressive in size. For example, take a look at this one. It's, it's huge. Of course, no trip to France is complete without visiting the Mona Lisa. And to be honest with you, I was very disappointed because they got her by herself behind a false wall, and quite frankly, she's pretty small. So if you'd like to know, is that how I spent my six weeks? The answer is no. But for the sake of my grade, I had to place all the informative information at the beginning of this presentation. This next part is probably what you're interested in, but I've kept it short, so pay attention. That's it. Perhaps this has motivated you in considering doing a study abroad next summer.